Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to teach you how to make polymer clay candy canes, chocolate and marshmallows. I've used them to decorate my mini hot chocolate candles, but you can use them to decorate whatever you want. However, if you want to see the tutorial to make the candles, here it is. For the marshmallows, you'll need white glittery polymer clay. Start working it to soften it a little bit, then roll it in a ball. Now make a tube and cut it in some little sections. Work a little bit with your fingers to make the edges softer and rounder. And here is one marshmallow. Now just make all the others and then make them following instructions. For the candy canes you'll need white glittery polymer clay, pink polymer clay and red polymer clay. Start working with the white polymer clay, soften it, roll it into a ball and then make a tube with it. Now take a small amount of pink polymer clay, soften it and roll it into a ball. Make a thin sausage. And then apply two pieces of it on the white sausage, making sure that they are at the opposite poles. Now roll a little ball of red polymer clay and make a little sausage as thin as the pink one. And then place two pieces of red sausage near the pink sausages you put on before. Now roll the red sausage to make it a little bit thinner and then apply two pieces of this new sausage in the space that's left between the red and the pink sausages. Now start twisting everything together, making sure to press down very well the little sausages. And don't worry if they break a little bit because you won't be able to notice it once it's all done. And then start rolling it down to make it thinner and longer. Here I'm just measuring the length of the candy canes because I'm gonna put them in my chocolate candles. But at this point you just have to make the rounded edge and that's it. I 
They then follow in instructions. Now for the chocolate you'll need brown polymer clay, emotes or toothpicks. If you have a mold like this one, it will be much simpler because you just have to soften the polymer clay and then you just have to press it on the mold. But if you don't have a mold like this one, don't worry because I'll show you another technique in a second. Of course, even if you're using a mold, don't forget to define all the edges. And uh, if you want to give it a little bit of a realistic detail, you can make two little bites on one side. If you don't have a mold, that's not a problem. You just have to soften your polymer clay and then roll it down. Then just take a toothpick and use it to create the little spaces between the chocolate squares. And that's it, you're done! Again, if you want to add a more realistic look, you can add two bites at the top of it. Then just bake them following instructions. So this was all for today's tutorial guys. Hope you liked it, hope you find it helpful. You can use these little polymer clay sweets to decorate whatever you want. If you do use them, please send me your pics on Facebook or tag me on Twitter or Instagram or use the hashtag SerenaLoserLikeMe so that I can see your polymer clay creations and I can feature you in my next video. This was all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! so bad and you should know that hey i just met you and this is crazy but here's my number so call me maybe it's hard